when news started to spread that Sonia Warshawski's tailoring shop in Overland Park would be closing. Everyone wanted to know how is big Sonia doing? How she's known by so many people. She's doing just fine. I've been grateful for the chance to interview Sonia more than once, and I got to sit down with her again. She is a Holocaust survivor who has told what she witnessed globally, and we talked about what her future holds now. Yeah, that's so special. Yeah. Sonia Warshawski still hears from people all over the world. Death kept me going in my life, yeah. Thanking her, forever impacted by her story. This is probably the message to me to keep on in doing it, Big Sonia, that's me. <laughs> Between the documentary Big Sonia to speaking to groups. So I was very lucky, yes. And the customers at her tailoring shop. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. The Holocaust survivor has spent years telling others the truth about the atrocities she faced. How many times do you think you've shared with someone in the shop? Oh my gosh. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Now at 97. We came here in 1948. She's looking to what's next after her shop closed last month. John's tailoring and alterations named for her late husband, John. This is see my husband, see? Yeah, this is from my old shop in Metcalf South, yeah. Closing after decades in business, her family says the first store opened in the 1950s and that John had a clothing and alteration store downtown in a few different locations. Sonia says they then had a shop in Metcalf South Shopping Center for almost 40 years and spent the last several years here near 95th and Knoll. But with building renovations, Sonia will not relocate again. It was very difficult to find if emotionally to get ready. So I had to start saying to myself, everything has to come to an end sometimes. So again, I start getting a little more you know, uh, stronger. Stronger and so thankful for her crowds of loyal customers and friends. I think they all loved us, you know, and I am very also particular in things and I, we had a very good reputation. And her faithful employees. It's like family, we're like family. And it was always more than a tailoring shop. This is only I'm from John Sayre. Where she would so often give her love and kindness with the truth of the horrific history she survived, sharing with so many, including us. I never refuse because this is my life. This is my responsibility, you know. I do it for those what they couldn't make. Six million Jews were murdered in the Holocaust. Sonia lost so many members of her family, including her mother. The women, what they were going to the guest chamber, and in the row, I recognized my mom holding together with another lady from my hometown. This was the last time I saw my mom. Last year, she lent her mother's scarf to the Auschwitz exhibit at Union Station. The color is still the same mm. for my mama's. Now, back home with Sonia. Whenever I look at that, every night I talk to her. Yes. Yes. And when she thinks about the future. I still would like to still be useful. She wants to keep telling her story, sharing her poetry. I mean, how many of these have you given away? How many have you given? Oh my gosh, thousands and thousands. Yeah. And this was translated, okay, one of my poems, and I still have untranslated poems, you know. So she wants to translate more of her poems from Polish and Yiddish and continue sharing her message of love. How many times smart students would stop me and tell me, ask me, Sonia, how can you talk about love, what you went through? So I, I have the answer. I say to them, listen, I shall never forget. I shall never forgive, but I will never hate.
Thank you, Sonia, for sitting down with us. Sonia survived three concentration camps. If you want to hear more of Sonia's experience, she has given detailed accounts of part of what she went through, and it is a history we cannot forget. You can find a link to our past stories with her at KSHB.com.